Happy Wednesday, Gladiators. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Andrew Hotchkiss, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, if you completed your application with Pikes Peak on April 6th, remember they will be back on Wednesday, April 26th to help you select classes for the fall semester. Get hall passes from the counseling office to attend any college visits. And while you're there, check out other important college-related information such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Attention all students, the library needs its books back. If you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid being put on conditions. The end is near and the last day to check out books is April 27th. Not sure if you have any other outstanding conditions or fees? Check Infinite Campus. Seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees by April 25th to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Return your books to the library before or after school and pay your fees in the business office. Hey seniors, graduation is about 23 short school days away and the senior class would like to include your photos in the graduation slideshow. Get them in early to Benny Trujillo at his email trujilloben2 at wsd3.org. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions may not be included. Attention seniors, time is running out for you to buy a yearbook. For limited time, the yearbook staff has a deal for you. When you buy your senior yearbook for $65, you can get one from a prior year for an additional $10. So if you didn't buy a yearbook your freshman year, now's your chance to get that one, but only while supplies last. It's a cool deal if you're buying a yearbook for this year. Those are still only $65. Go to yearbookfavor.com or business office to buy yours now before prices go up. Hey John, what's your favorite kind of pie? I'm not a fan of pie unless I can smush it in someone's face. Well, you're in luck. Glaz, the Environmental Club is having a pie smushing contest this coming Friday to celebrate Earth Day and to help us save our trees. You can still buy your chance to smush a pie in Mr. Elhoffer, Mr. Cummings, Deputy Stevens, or Mr. Southworth's face for just $1. Get your tickets today from any Environmental Club member, go to room 204, or visit them at the table in the main hall at lunch. The Earth Day Festival is this Friday during lunch, and that's when you can smush a pie in their face. And speaking of pie, Hey John, Miss Betsy has a great lunch plan today. Want to know what it is? I sure do. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Wednesday everybody. Today we're having pasta with meat sauce, breadsticks. Come on down and see us. Have a great day. And then on tomorrow's menu we have hot dogs with all the fixings. So see you then. Bye. Thanks Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your account. Attention all students. Have you ever wondered what DECA students do? What is DECA, anyway? If you are interested in joining DECA, come to a lunch meeting today in Lab 159. Ms. Hildebrand will explain it all and answer any additional questions. If you are not able to attend this meeting, see Ms. Hildebrand in Lab 159 for details. Students, if you need help with academic subjects, NHS students are offering tutoring during advisory. Stop by the library on Wednesday to sign up for a time and pick up a pass for Thursday. You will be able to use computers at this time too. If you need help, you should really check it out. Now here is Jaden McDonald with our sports update. Hey Glads, it's Wednesday and I'm Jada McDonald with your Gladiator Sports Update. Volleyball Open Gym is happening today in Bowers Gym from 3 to 5 p.m. All current and prospective volleyball players who are not playing spring sports are invited to join us to bump, set, and spike our way through next year's season. Gentlemen, Open Gym time for basketball happens on Thursdays from 6 to 8 p.m. And Bowers Gym. If you're interested in playing basketball next year, come refine your skills at the Open Gyms. Here are some of the scores from this week's game. The ladies tennis team is on fire and rocked their match against Colorado Brain School. Nice job, ladies. Our ladies are back on the court, taking on Canyon City on Thursday at Canyon City at 3 45 p.m. Our ladies soccer team put up good fight against the Grizzlies yesterday but lost to the Purple School. The next opponent for the ladies soccer team is TCA on Thursday right here at 4 p.m. The baseball team was on the road this week against Woodland Park and Skyview and won both games. They took on Harrison yesterday and easily beat them. Like the ladies tennis team, the baseball team is also in Canyon City at 4 p.m. for their game. Our varsity track is at Found for Kirsten Invite on Friday and Saturday. Good luck to all our sports team this week. Finally, Glads, mark your calendars for this Saturday. Yes, it is prom Saturday, but if you're not busy or want to do something fun, come cheer on the WSD3 team 
as they take on the cops in a dodgeball fundraiser for teen suicide prevention. The games will be at Coronado High School from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Cost is $5 for adults and $3 for students. That is all I have. Have a great week. I'm Jaden McDonald. Back to you, John and Andrew. Thanks, Jaden. And now to all prom related news. Juniors and seniors, prom court nominations are in. Today and tomorrow, you can vote for your prom candidates for king and queen. Your candidates for queen are Jada Aquino, Carly Kalanagan, Skylar Logan, Kelly Pedarino, and Ashley Silva. Your candidates for king are Steven Agenbrod, George Arseniega, Xavier Ortiz, Betty Trujillo, and Quinn Wilson. Voting will take place in the auditorium during lunch. Of course, you'll have to attend the prom to know who wins the coveted crowns. That's right, John. Blast from the Past is this Saturday, April 22nd at the Doubletree Hotel. Dinner starts at 6.30 and the dance goes to midnight. Be there or be square. Ladies, Becca's Closet has a bunch of new dresses, but if you haven't made your appointment to check them out, you need to do so quickly before the best ones are gone. Make your appointment with Mrs. Molina in room 111 or Mrs. HK in the library to check out dresses at lunch, advisory, or after school. Remember, the dress is yours to keep. Glad, if you're asking someone to prom and would like a picture of your prom poles that'll be in the yearbook, see Sierra Perea or Kiana Dooley at lunch in room 104. One last but very important announcement about prom that is for everyone. This week is Spirit Week, and tomorrow is Thrift Shop Day. Friday's Blue Out Day. Wear your best WHS gear. You can wear hats for any outfits until tomorrow. Hats will not be allowed on Friday. Check out this shout out video for some of our amazing teachers. My name is Markel, and my power card goes out to Miss Molino. She is a hardworking, excellent teacher who pushes herself to the limit. She goes beyond her work and takes much pride in each of her classes. I appreciate her every day, and I'm glad she's my Spanish teacher. Thank you, Ms. Molina. Hi, I'm Brianna. Uh, this is for Ms. Murphy. Uh, you make learning a fun experience, and you make class fun, and I like your class. My name is Clayton Russell. My power ticket is for Ms. Veroni. I said she always helps me when I need it and she always brings a good vibe to class. My name is Alicia Monson. I wrote a reverse power ticket to Ms. Holdebrand. She's always there to talk to and I appreciate her very much. Remember to continue to fill out those reverse power cards outside of the attendance office. <laughs> and finally, GLADS, if you are a senior taking classes at D3 My Way, you must complete all coursework by the May 5th. And GLADS, if you are looking for a full-time summer job, the Whitefield Facilities Department is hiring students who are 17 or older for their summer cruise. Workers must have a valid driver's license and you can find the application online at WSD3.org. Applications are due on May 12th. That's all we have for you today, GLADS. We really appreciate your attention. Have a great rest of your week. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Andrew Hotchkiss, and this was your KWHS News.